What's up, everybody? For those of you that were curious, I picked up a GT5R. Um, this is the radio that was the legal Baofeng UV5R and uh, was uh, for sale through Radiotity. So I picked one of these up because I was really curious uh, how the insides compared to the UV5Rs that I tested in my previous video. I'll put a link to that video in the uh, description below. So I opened up uh, the GT5R and these UV5Rs and uh, took pictures of the main boards. And <clears throat> I think it's as we all probably suspected, uh, the changes that were made for this GT5R to make it legal and then uh, was for sale through Radiotity have uh, trickled down or uh, however you want to refer to that into these UV5Rs. So I'm going to put on the screen <clears throat> some comparisons here. Uh, if you're looking at the, uh, the, the front side of the board, um, you can see that the, uh, the UV5R, uh, this one particular one, has a board revision of version 4.1 that is from June 4th of uh, 2022. And the GT5R is on uh, another revision after that, version 4.2, uh, from July 2nd of uh, 2022. So literally only a month apart there. Um, and then actually uh, flipping over to the back side, uh, if I would have done a little bit of better job here, uh, you probably could have overlaid these two boards directly uh, on top of each other uh, and notice that there's practically no differences. Uh, if you look, uh, the, the filtering section is, is identical. Um, which is funny, all the way down to this little uh, skewed uh, inductor uh, on the board here. Uh, in the previous uh, revision of the UV5R, the one that uh, I have that came from um, Amazon, that actually still had a copper coil there. Um, what's interesting is on the Timu radio and on the GT5R, that one particular inductor uh, is like a surface mount package. And uh, it's just kind of funny because it's, it's uh, at a little bit of an angle there on the pads. But pretty much everything else on here uh, is identical. You've got the same uh, microprocessor. You've got the same uh, single chip radio uh, transceiver chip. Um, it's, it's literally almost a carbon copy between the two radios. So I would say that the... Uh, the manufacturing, the UV5Rs are now all the same as the GT5Rs, uh, at least maybe uh, moving forward at, at this point. Um, real quick, I'll just throw up uh, some graphs here uh, to show I did do a harmonics test on the GT5R just to make sure that it was uh, still clean, uh, and, and it is. Uh, you can see here uh, both low power and high power that the... Uh, Second, third, fourth harmonics, etc., are all uh, more than 40 dB down from the fundamental, and they are all uh, below that 25 microwatt line per the FCC requirements. So, uh, once again, for those of you that were curious about that, <clears throat> including myself, um, I went ahead and uh, took them apart, and uh, I think that uh, we can all see that uh, these UV5Rs and the GT5R uh, are practically the same board now. So uh, with that, um, please like and subscribe. Um, I would love to keep making these videos. Uh, if you uh, like this kind of thing, please do that. Uh, you can even ring the bell so that you get notified when new videos come out. I greatly appreciate uh, every one of you that uh, is here watching these videos. And uh, do me a favor, leave a comment below, uh, even if it's just your favorite emoji. We'll see you in the next one.